hello friend uh, so today we are going to solve this uh, sorted array question so in this question what is given is we are having uh, two integer array num1 and num2 which are having m and n in numbers respectively so we have to merge these two array uh, in an ascending order which is non decreasing order and uh, what is the catch here is like we don't have to return a new array instead we need to sort inside the array of num1 now what is given in the question is like the num1 is having a size of n plus n like uh, num1 is having elements uh, which are uh, num1 is having m elements while the rest uh, n elements are 0 in num1 and num2 is having n element so num1 is having a uh, total size of m plus n where uh, it will contain m elements and the remaining will be 0 and num2 will contain n elements so the number of zeros will be equal to the size of num2 so we need to sort in num1 only and we don't have to return any new array so what can be the approach here is yeah so we are uh, so we are having num1 and num2 so num1 num1 is having elements which are equals to m and num2 is having elements which are equals to n so the size of num1 is m plus n this whole size is m plus n and uh, a number will contain 0 which are equals to the size of num2 array so the easy approach uh, which we can go is like we can have these num2 elements in num1 like we can uh, copy these element here 2 then 5 then 6 and we can apply shorting algorithm in num1 so it will short the element of num1 but, but shorting algorithm what its take its time complexity is n log n so we need to find more <coughs> uh, optimized solution uh, uh, than this so what approach we can apply here is so let me remove all this yeah so yeah uh, the point which is given is that num2 element size is equals to the number of zeros which are contained in num1 so what we can have we can use here pointer approach like two pointer approach so what we can do is we can have a pointer here which will monitor the number of elements which are in num1 then uh, we can have second pointer here which we which will monitor the number of elements in num2 and one pointer here which will monitor the number or the size of the uh, the size of num1 so like if we are considering it i then j then k so what we can do here is like we can compare between i and j so like we will compare 3 and 6 and whichever element is greater we will uh, uh, we will uh, move this element at the k position and we will then uh, decrease the uh, pointer we, uh, like uh, so uh, in this case like th we are having 3 and 6 here so uh, 6 is greater than uh, 3 so we will uh, what we will do we will move this 6 here so this uh, last element will contain 6 then we will decrease the pointer to here because this element has already been moved and this pointer to here so the new position will be this will be the new position of k element and this will be the new position of j, j index so now we will compare we will again compare i and j and in this case also j value is greater than what uh, i is pointing so we will move this 5 here and then again j will uh, point to this index and k will move here and k will point to this index so like now we will compare uh, between uh, value contained at i index and what value contained in j index to so 3 and 2 so uh, 3 is greater than 2 so 3 will be move here so 3 will move here and then i will move to its previous index so i will move here and k will be at this index so k will be here so uh, let me clear all this so currently we are having j here i here and k will be moving to this index so now it will compare i and j so both the values are same so like it will compare i and j so uh, it both are same so we will move j value here and uh, we will reduce j so this our loop will terminate and we will have our optimal solution so j value will come at uh, this kth index 
so uh, this is our required shorted array so in this case what we have to take care is the value of j so j should not be out of bound and second thing is uh, i the value of i i should not be out of bound so this is the optimal solution which we are having uh, of complexity of capital o of n uh, because we are traversing whole array at one time so <laughs> like yeah so now we can implement this solution so what we have mentioned here is like we will have three pointers so first we will going to uh, have three pointers as we are dealing with indexes so they, uh, that is why we are having index minus one then the original that will be m plus n minus one so yes these are uh, these are the three pointers which we have mentioned i k and j uh, which will be pointing towards uh, 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 i will be pointing uh, to uh, i will be pointing i will be pointing to the last of the elements in uh, num1 and j will be pointing to the last of the element in num2 and uh, k will be pointing to the overall size of uh, num1 so yes so we will it, uh, we will loop while the elements in uh, they are not accommodated in nums1 uh, like uh, yeah so we will check if now we have to take care of uh, i also that it won't go out of bounds so we will check if i is greater than or equals to 0 and end nums1 of i is greater than nums 2 of j if num 1 of i is greater if num 1 of i is greater than num 2 of j then what we will do uh, we will have uh, nums 1 of k is equals to nums 1 of i now we have to decrease both the pointers so we can do like k minus minus or here only we can do k minus minus and i minus minus what this is do like k minus minus is equals to k is equals to k minus 1 so it is a post decrement operator so what it will do first it will use the value which is contained in k then it will decrement the value of k by 1 so yeah uh, if it is uh, yeah in else case what we will do we will have nums 1 of k minus minus is equals to nums 2 of j uh, so this is our required solution so first we will compile this The, it is showing some uh, so it will be j minus minus we will run this code okay now we will submit it is submit successfully so this is the required solution uh, with time complexity of capital o of n thank you for watching